What's happening? Welcome to the 901. I'm Avery Braxton. It doesn't sound like Dylan Brooks is too thankful for the way he and the Grizzlies separated. You can have love for your old flame, but still not like the way they did you. Ahead of Memphis's first matchup with Brooks tomorrow night against Houston, here's what Dylan Brooks had to say. It's like the girlfriend you used to have. You don't know how good she is until she's gone. And he's taking shots as well, saying you can see now they have no swagger, meaning the Grizzlies. The Rockets have swagger. We have an identity we're building each and every game, and we show it more and more. Today, the Grizz offered up their two cents on seeing their old friend, Dylan, the villain. He's like a antagonizer. I don't even know what the, what the word is, but... Um, you know, it's, it's part of his game. And Interesting comment. I've been happily married for 10 years with four beautiful kids, so um, I've got a beautiful marriage. Um, obviously, he's a heck of a player. He's having a great start to the year. Uh, really happy for his early season success. Tip off tomorrow, 7 p.m. in Houston. Tigers basketball has touched down in the Bahamas. They will play Michigan tomorrow to start the battle for Atlanta's tournament. The Tigers undefeated so far and will get Penny Hardaway back on the sidelines after his three game suspension. It's a chance for them to stack some really good resume wins in non conference play. To come back the first game against Michigan, you know, that's uh, that's pretty good, you know, because it gets your juices flowing. You don't get a chance to come in and, you know, have a game where you can just kind of sit back and kind of figure it out. You got to go right away. So, you know, I always tell my guys to be ready, so I'll be ready. All right, let's hope so. That's going to do it for your sports. More news is coming up next.